so basically you can call this video a late twitter bang rant video or you can call it a personal branding advice or you can call it whatever you want but the main thing that i want to talk about in this video is mostly about personal branding so by now we're all aware that the use of twitter in nigeria has been banned even though you know some people are still using twitter and i have no idea how they're using but still they're using so i believe that they're like um three major things that this ban of the use of twitter in nigeria should have taught us in the little time that we have been experiencing this so still on that topic i have always been an advocate for preaching diversification you know as i always say in life you cannot rely on just one thing all through so a very huge example is you can never rely on just one source of income because once that single source of income has some kind of difficulty reaching you there is a huge problem and i need not remind us about the last year you know 2020 was kind of a crazy year you know that year proved to us that having just a single source of income could be a very risky move for you but that's not what we're here to talk about in this video in this video i'm here to talk about personal branding so as i said the use of twitter in nigeria has been banned by the federal government and what can we do about that well i'll tell you what you can do about that and i am not talking about using a vpn that's none of my concern so at that time when the use of twitter was restricted to all of nigerians it really affected a lot of people businesses and a lot of other companies too as well and if you remember as i said i have always been an advocate for preaching diversification well in this case i've always told people that don't just rely on one platform because one day something might happen to that platform even though we're not wishing that to happen but something might happen so unfortunately and possibly we might lose all of our audience and also maybe our content as well so how can you prevent that from happening and that is where diversification comes in and number one i believe is the power of spreading your audience don't just rely on one single platform because at any time that platform decides to just shut down or maybe just move to something else you lose your entire audience i'm not just talking about twitter and one way to counter or avoid that is to always share or maybe send your audience to your other profiles on other platforms so for example on youtube after asking them to subscribe to your channel you can also ask them to follow you on your instagram or twitter so that way you spread your audience and they follow you on different types of platforms and on other platforms like facebook twitter and instagram you could also add it to your bio like on instagram since instagram bios are not really link friendly you could actually just add one link that would take someone to all your social media platforms using apps like linktree or insta bio you could just add as many links as you want to share with people and also if you are someone who is interested in becoming something like a freelancer or something like that this would really help you in you know diversifying and finding different audience and different customers from a lot of all these platforms that we have this might help you in reaching a very huge and diverse audience because every type of platform has a different type of people with maybe the same taste or different taste it depends on the audience and number two is repurposing your content have you ever heard this term repurpose your content that is to tell you that you could actually use the same content that you post on this platform to also garner attention and audience on another platform so just imagine you post a lot of tweets on your twitter page per day and as a result of that you have a huge amount of audience that always come back to view and like or maybe retweet your tweets so just imagine you use that tweet maybe just a screenshot or something like that and post it on instagram you know that might help you to get if not the same audience maybe people with the same interests with that of your audience on twitter and you can as well post that same screenshot on linkedin or maybe facebook or any other social media platform that you want to get audience or maybe that same audience from so just in case something happens to your twitter account or maybe you know the fg decides to just block the use of twitter you also have audience on instagram with that same taste or maybe on linkedin facebook or any other place well don't you worry we're just getting started so now let's go off twitter for a bit so imagine you have this huge amount of audience on your tiktok and you're wondering how you can get those kind of people on your instagram well i don't think in this case i need to remind you that all you need to do is to repurpose your content so basically to repurpose your content is just to use a certain content you have on one platform on another one i know most of us already do this but you could just basically repurpose the videos that you have on your tiktok 
and use them on your Instagram Reels, on your Instagram Stories, on your LinkedIn Stories, Facebook Stories, and any other place you feel that video will fit. So not just videos, you could actually do it with pictures or maybe your tweets, as I said, you know, the screenshots and everything like that. At the end of the day, it all comes down to what you want to share. I know this really isn't something new, but I just thought that there are a lot of people that really need to hear this. And number three, which I believe is the most powerful one, is collaborations. Well, I don't know how much I would stress on collaborations because collaborations is one of the best ways that you could grow faster and also stronger because having the right audience on your channel really helps you grow because if you just buy audience or maybe you just kind of lower the audience, you know, using clickbaits and stuff like that, those audience won't really last on your channel. You know, you might have a huge amount of following, but in the long run, those people will leave your channel if they're not interested in the content that you share. So collaborations gives you the power to tap into other people's audience, you know, people that have almost the same audience with similar interests to yours. You know, if you kind of do collaborations with people in the same niche as you, you somehow tap into their audience and people who are interested in the kind of content that you share, see your content, they will definitely try to follow you or maybe try to reach out to you and get more information about you or from you. So that way, you have an audience that are really interested in what you are sharing. Not just audience that increase your impressions, but audience that increases your interactions, which is a more important metric in the whole analytics. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you in any kind of way. Just let me know how it helped you in the comment section. And if there's anything you want to know more about, let me know in the comment section as well. And this brings us to the question of the day. Which of these social media platforms is your best? And let me know why you prefer that social media platform. Having said that, thank you so very much for watching this video. So on that note, I say, go ahead and create, but don't hate. See you in the next video. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And uh, now, 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 ah, I'm not going with that cliche line anymore. Like, everybody says that. Yeah, I'm going to find something different. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> I. Yeah, and that's all.